Hello there, Erenar here, and today we are going to review Nosos faction. In the last update, 19th, uh, this faction was slightly reworked, and I will show you everything about this Nosos units you need to know. We are starting with the hero, our leader, Idomeneus. He is very offensive, good. Uh, killer and he's able to deal a lot of damage on the start you can start with the charging ability and if you want to go more yellow you can also activate this second charge and damage ability so as hero uh, this faction is m more about charging and you will see why we are starting with the infantry, young spears are pretty standard, good chargers, solid weapon and good stats. I recommend using these guys, as these are performing very, very well already. Not so specific of alternative to young spears is Cretan riders. They have a lower charge. Uh, but very nice damage dealing weapon and this unit has been uh, reworked to be causing fear instead of flanking attack so uh, you are going to use this to be sure that enemy is routing uh, these guys are very scary on the early game and perfect for finishing off enemies with their good speed and causing fear Next, as uh, the fodder unit we got Cretan Militia, it is uh, slightly better than standard Militia, even though they are using access, this weapon is pretty good and they will not hold uh, very long in the battles, but they are good very fast and good for the job they provide. Next, uh, as a standard front line, we got the spearmen. Uh, usually, I don't recommend them. These guys don't have enough uh, power or combat combat results. So, instead, let me show you the Cretan spearmen. They are slightly better. Uh, let's compare what's the difference. The Kirtan Spearmen are having a lot of more speed and their unique ability, uh, the Strong Vigor, helps them very well to keep their stamina and keep their stats. So these guys will be better at holding during longer battles. This is still early game. And also in the early game we got access to light swordsmen from Watchtower. These are quite standard flankers and you really have to use their flanking attack improved in order to make them viable. Then for missiles, we have the Echian slingers, very good standard long range slings with a lot of ammunition. I highly recommend using these guys in campaigns as well and multiplayer battles too. Next, Nosos has access to island skirmishers. In my opinion they are not good, e not good enough and I would recommend using the other, other units instead. Then we move to the mid tier and if you upgrade your port you can have the island cup warriors. These guys are pretty decent, they have very good weapon and uh, if they are not moving like right now they are invisible to enemy units. So these are pretty good duelists and they can deal with a lot of low tier units. Next, we have Creta Noble Spears. These are uh, comparable to the standard Shielded Spearmen. They have pretty good defense and flanking defense makes them help to keep their defense. 
and in previous uh, version they were too strong so they were not losing stamina in this update uh, they have strong vigor and it is still very viable good unit and they are able to do very well in battles that last too long and now they are no longer overpowered in multiplayer battles next we have Cretan Axe Warriors. These guys might not have uh, very high stats on the paper, but right now they have very they have active ferocity ability, which already boosts their attack and uh, damage very nicely. So they are oh, slightly stronger than many many mid tier units already. So. Uh, if you keep these guys above 50% hit points, they will do a lot of damage. Next, we have club warriors, very good flankers, um, they deal a lot of damage. I really recommend using them as flankers and, and you will have a lot of good time with them. Next, not so specific uh, uh, unit is Cretan Chargers. These yellow chargers are pretty devastating. They are not just causing fear, they finally have final attack improved. And with their very good armor piercing weapon and charge, they will deal a lot of damage. And with such damage uh, and this ability, they will rout enemies quite easily. So with nostrils you are going to charge and scare enemies. That's pretty much very nice what you can do. Also, nostrils has quite good uh, archers. These mid-tier archers or Cretan hunters are standard, quite solid stats. They are pretty fast because they don't have much armor. So this makes them faster than, than many mid-tier um, archers in the game. And as chariots, we as Achaeans, we have standard melee chariots. Um, you can use them very well with your Ketan chargers to deal a lot of damage and round enemies. So we already know that these chariots are pretty good and solid. Now let's move into the late game. In late game, we have an excellent uh, frontline unit. Nosos Palace Guard is uh, having perfect vigor. It is not going to lose stamina. Uh, the stats has been slightly rebalanced, so so that they are going to be very good when battles are lasting very long time. So if you manage to keep them alive, they will have 52 defense and all the time. So I really recommend using this. And if you can hold choke point with them, mm, very nice. You can hold very well. Next, we have Noble Access. Uh, they are our damage dealers with Ferocity already active. They are reaching very high attack and defense together and their weapon is boosted as well as long as you keep the 50 percent hp or more you are going to cut a lot of uh, damage with them next we have quite fast uh, medium chargers these guys are having very strong weapon quite good charge and on top of being scary and flankers they even can go full berserk if they survive with 20% HP or less they are going to do a berserking and when this is berserk their stamina will be full and they are going to deal tons of damage and they are just unbreakable when berserk so be careful with these guys and if you use them well they will kill so much 
you will love it. Then we got missiles. So, as late game, you got the Curtain Archers, which are having a big range. They are comparable to Trojan print nobles. And you are just like Paris, slightly faster and less armored. These guys uh, trade their speed and range to deal a lot of damage and run away. So be aware from enemy missiles. And last late game upgrade are Kreta Noble Archers with uh, same range but much stronger uh, missile output and they have more armor while still having a lot of speed. So these are expensive and very strong missiles. You are going to be competitive against Paris and other factions. And lastly, we got the standard heavy melee chariots as other Achaean factions. Uh, now just quickly show you how would you use your units. Let's say you got the front line and on the side you are having the nobles to be cutting through and I would recommend using uh, chargers behind them. Uh, archers should feel very safe behind these uh, palace guards as they are going to hold very well and I will move chariots here as well. So let's say the battle is uh, going. Uh, we will want to keep this above 50%. We will go back and with the Champions of Nossos we will just right click to charge and we can include chariots as well. And as these guys are charging they are going to deal a lot of damage. You can deal it uh, together with chariots, you can deal it enemy elite units very quickly. And with this faction you can manage to do pretty nice damage. You can go offensive way and you can go with, with very safe way of outranging enemies. So, or you can combine all that together. I hope you will have fun with Nosos and that is all from me. See you later.